Let's go to Republican Texas Congressman and member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, Troy Nails. Uh, Congressman, thank you for taking time. We should point out that your previous job was Sheriff of Fort Bend uh, County, Texas, where you and I first met during Hurricane Harvey uh, some years ago. But I raised that, Congressman, because you are obviously, as a law enforcement officer by trade, familiar with this border crisis, and you were just at the border. What did you see, and what is your reaction? Action. We saw a crisis. Uh, well, first off, Griff, it's good to see you, good to be with you today, and, and thank you for having me. Uh, I was there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and what I saw, uh, and I know what you saw when you were down there, we saw a crisis. We saw individuals entering our country, uh, and, and they're being scattered everywhere. I mean, there are thousands of them. You know, there was quite a large delegation from Texas, and we had an opportunity to visit with the Border Patrol, uh, fly around with DEA, visit with the De public, uh, Department of Public Safety on their boats, Immigration and Customs, had an opportunity, many of us, to go down and look at the, the Donna facility and, and look at the travesties that are taking place there with the overcrowding, because the Border Patrol can't handle all the children. There are thousands of them entering our country, and now they're being sprinkled throughout Texas, and pretty soon they're going to come to a neighborhood in a small town, a small community near you. And those capacity issues have led to, in the area you were, to some being released, some of the migrants being released without so much as a court date for an asylum hearing. Let me ask you, Congressman, 11 days ago, President Biden tapped his vice president, Kamala Harris, to oversee the border crisis, and then they sort of narrowed the definition to work with those Northern Triangle countries on why they're coming mm -hmm. from Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Are you satisfied with what Vice President Harris has done to respond so far? Absolutely not, because she's in denial. President Biden, he's in denial as well, as a matter of fact. She kind of laughed at it the other day when a reporter asked her, are you going to get down to the border? And that sarcastic laugh of hers, uh, she doesn't plan on going down to visit the border because I think she would certainly uh, uh, get an earful from Border Patrol and many of those uh, communities that live around that border, that are, are, are around that border. Uh, because they see the humanitarian crisis, they see what's happening. So I don't think they, they look at this as a crisis because I think they both look at it as an opportunity. This is about one party rule. This is about getting as many people into our country and a pathway to citizenship. And, and it, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. But there is, a, there is a crisis at our southern border. And the American people, I think, are going to continue to see the, the true atrocities taking place. I was on an airplane. Uh, uh, flying from Laredo back to Houston. Half the people on that plane were migrants. They were flying into Houston. I don't know if that was their final destination. Who knows they were going, but I am, I actually felt for some of them, the small children. Yeah. But that young lady on that plane is going to be a victim to the human traffickers, and she's going to suffer in our country mm. because she's beholden to the traffickers. Speaking of suffering, Congressman, before we let you go, I want to get to the Capitol attack. You saw uh, tragically claimed the life of Capitol Police Officer Billy Evans. Uh, your thoughts on this? Well, it's sad. Uh, we saw, you know, uh, enormous unrest on, on January sixth and then what we see yesterday when we were starting to heal but what we've seen griffin we've seen it for months now throughout the summer it's an all-out attack on law enforcement police throughout our country at the federal state and local level it was it was billy evans yesterday last week it was a, a dps mm -hmm. trooper chad walker from texas that was assassinated in his car when he pulled over for a motorist assist and you don't see people talking about this too much because this doesn't fit the yep. left's narrative. I Jim. bet you the individuals, the two suspects, Griff, I bet you they, we're not going to talk too much about those guys because well, they're not Trump supporters. They're, they're, not rural, I they're just, not from rural America. I just, in the last few seconds, we've only got like 20 seconds here, but some are talk, talking about the background. The, the uh, uh, guy that attacked the Capitol has a history with the Nation of Islam and Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I'm wondering if you think that creates a problem from some of your colleagues on the Democrat side of the aisle that have embraced Louis Farrakhan from whether it's the House Minority Whip, James Clyburn, or Representative Danny Davis, or others like that. Well, it should. It should concern the left. But what, what the left is going to do is say, shh, 
let's not talk about it. We can't talk about this because this is going to cause us some problems. So let's move and pivot over to the baseball game, the silly baseball game, game being moved out of Atlanta. That's what the left is going to talk about. They don't want to talk about the people that are out there attacking our police, assassinating our police, killing them in cold blood out on our streets. We talked about it all last summer. Right. Mm -hmm. We matter of fact, we yep. we demonstrated, we rioted, but we're not going to talk about these two uh, brave individuals that lost their life. They have small families. They have children. They have children. But the left, it doesn't fit yep. their narrative. So shh, let's not talk about it. Commissioner Troy Nails, thanks for joining us, and we will be talking about that Major League Baseball decision here later today. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you, Griff. Good to see you. All right.